But if you think about communities, no one-to-one -one relationships, and then you get a, get, you're going to be getting closer as to what the trade and social business means. So the point behind this is like, you know, as you embrace communities and actually go to build this business, social business, it's like, you know, social business is so much more than social CRM. Then, then, you know, I'm not going to go into definitions, and I agree with Mitch there, I think that the definitions are sound. But when you build a social business, you need to consider that, as I was saying earlier, all this, all this uh, feedback that you collect, all these actionable insights that you process, they're going to go to different parts of your organization. A customer may give you insights that go into research and development to create a better product. Or they may give you insights that go, you know, I guess, supply chain management to create a better shipping model, or to create a better inventory management model. It's a great something that actually creates, you know, gives you more power on how you operate with the customer. It is not only about being social on the front end, it's about becoming social in the back end. And, you know, if you notice, the four functions are replicated in each one of those. So social business is so much more than social CRM. It's about social ERP, social supply chain management. It's about social, you know, research and development. It's about every single function that you do has to be social in order for you to actually, you know, become a social business. So you know, the next thing I want to do, I want to talk a little bit more about going a little bit deeper into all these uh, components that I said there. So, first of all, um, if you don't like this slide, I made it, so deal with it. Now, if you're a designer, I welcome anybody simple to make it into a better slide. I know it's busy, but it's, this is the way that things work. You're going to start here at this little blue field. It's not relation to the two of the neighbors, I promise. There's no red pill anywhere else. It's just the color that tells So, when you start the talk, and then the first thing you do is you choose the business function that you want to socialize. Is it sales? Is it marketing? Is it instrument <coughs> process? Whatever you want to socialize. Then you actually assign specific rules that you want to apply to that. What are the business rules? What are the metrics that are going to be used? What is you know, the, the feedback management model? What are the analytics? All these things that apply to each one of the business functions that you select. Next, you go and decide which, which, uh, which channel, which tool you're going to use for this. Are you going to you know, make this function according to these rules available by um, a wiki, or through a blog, or through a forum, or through Twitter, or Facebook, or whatever it is. And finally, you're going to decide who's the community, who, which community you're going to be targeting. Is it going to be a you know, long-term established community, an impromptu community, a community, <coughs> a Twitter community? You know, is it going to be a commune? Is it going to be a, a, a collaborative? I mean, what is it going to be that you're going to be targeting? And basically, this is what you do. It's like, you know, for every single one of the business functions that we talk about, you're going to go through this slide, through this uh, pyramid, and put together all the answers to all these questions. And what you're going to find out at the end is that, you know, there's actually a, a way to do this that makes sense for your business. Because you're going to say, no. Let's say, let's take, take an example. Let's say that you want to do social sales. You're going to say, well, I want to do sales. Okay, what rules am I going to apply to sales? First of all, which segment am I going to target? How am I going to measure that? How am I going to measure the effectiveness? How am I, how am I going to measure whether I'm being successful? How am I going to measure the feedback that I get back? How am I going to incorporate all that? Then the third thing you can say, like, okay, so I know what I'm going to do. I know how I'm going to measure. So what's the community that I'm going to do this? I want to increase the sales that I get via Facebook. Terrific. So Facebook is my channel. What's the community that I'm going to, that I'm going to choose to go after? I know that there's a lot of people on Facebook, but I'm targeting specific, you know, existing users that are going to go through Facebook, or am I targeting new users? I'm trying to get you know, people that are going to convert from, the, from, from their competitors. Who is specifically my target? And when you start thinking that way, in a social context, you can actually put all these different paths together. And each one of these will become a sub-strategy, part of the larger strategy. Next concept is you know, how you actually create these rules. And I was talking about the rules. So start from this small um, circle here and kind of grow from there. First and foremost, second. I'm going I'm to ask you to raise your hand. I'm, gonna see, I'm sure they're going to see everybody. Who works for a company that segments its customers already? Okay, that's scary. I'm see all the rest of them. Come on. <laughs> if you don't segment, you're losing the power. You cannot target every single community, every single customer the same way. Each person, each community has different needs. So you need to segment based on those needs. you got to create the specific business rules for that. You're going to select, you know, what's the service level agreement? And again, I don't want to embarrass you, so I won't ask you to raise your hand. But the key concept here is service level agreement. If you don't have a specific mode of operating with a community and within a channel, you're going to lose the battle. You know what I mean? Come on, we're talking about you know, the very simple example here, and I don't want to embarrass any company, but how many times do you actually go on Twitter, go on Facebook, go on a community and say, hey, I need to your favorite brand name here. You know, my, my product doesn't work. And 
three days, four days, five days go by, and you don't get an answer. Right? And then, there's no service level agreement. People commit to be in the channel need to have a service level agreement. <coughs> you need to be, you know, like American Airlines. You need to be like um, Southwest. I tweet something about Southwest, within 10 minutes I get an answer. That's the service level agreement that they have. I tweet something about American Airlines, within 12 days I get an answer. Oh, sorry. Oh, right. <laughs> but, but you get the idea. You gotta have a service level agreement. The service level agreement is gonna be measured some way, and you gotta have political feedback on that, and then you gotta run analytics on that. And the key, remember, the key to being a social business is creating actionable insights. And the only way you're gonna do that is through the use of analytics. The concept that you gotta do all this to get to analytics, but once you get to analytics, that's when you start to learn about your customer. That's when you start to learn about the communities, about the interactions, about what they want, what they need, what you have to offer, what you get to win from doing that. So the key concept here, again, is going to be analytics. Another thing that you need to figure out, it's, you know, I, I'm sorry, I used to have this here in all my life, so you know, that's my analytical approach to this. But this is, the, this is where you're going to decide also how you're going to select which communities, which channels you want to use. Do you want to use Twitter? Okay, let's go through Twitter. No problem. Is there a need for Twitter? Does your business need to be on Twitter? Yes? Why? Answer the question. All you have to do right now is answer the question. Why do we need to be on Twitter? Is it because customers are asking me? Is it because it's mandatory? Is it because my CIO thought that it was cool? I mean, why do we need to be on Twitter? Second question, is there a one? Do my customers want this? Is there a business value for them to actually interface with me through Twitter? Third question, is there a fit in my architecture? You have a company already the other way. You have an enterprise architecture. You have you know, a lot of systems you know, already running. You cannot just throw everything away because Twitter is cool. So you have to make sure that there's a fit. Now, if all three of those are yes, then you start going to the, the, the real world. The next, the next question, do you have a plan on how you're going to maintain this? Do you have a plan on how you're going to manage this? You know, the worst thing that could happen to you is like jump into Twitter, jump into Facebook, jump into community, and not know what you're doing. Because once you're in, it's kind of like the mafia. You don't get out. You know, your customers won't let you get out. If you're going to jump into Twitter, your customers will expect you to be there, to be responsive, to have an answer, to do something. So have a plan in place how you're going to do it. Okay, you have a plan. Then next thing, talk about earlier about the silo. Is this going to be a silo? If it's a silo, there's no point in doing it. There's no value to you. Why are you going to put a Facebook page that you cannot bring the data from Facebook and put it into your company? What's the point? Just to collect more data outside of your company that you have no access to? Why would you put a, you know, a Twitter account to interface with customers if you have no idea who the customers are? Just, you know, to, again, just to interface with them and give them an answer and pretend that you're doing something. It's going to be a business value to be in social. And the only business value comes down to the data that you have on your customers. So whatever you do, cannot be a server. Integrate it. Next thing, you have a strategy in place. This is the critical part of everything. This is where most implementations die, whether or not you have a strategy. If you don't have a strategy for what you're trying to do, you're going to fail. Guaranteed. 15 years doing CRM, I have, se I have never seen one single implementation of any sort of CRM that actually succeeded with that strategy. Anything. Not a call center, no marketing automation, no sales, no self force automation, nothing. Nothing will ever succeed without a strategy. If you don't know why you're doing what you're doing, you will get exactly the result that you expect. Which you don't know. Finally, do what I call the field of dreams. If you build it, they won't just come. You gotta advertise it. PR and campaign behind it. You gotta tell people what you're doing and why you're doing it. What's the best way to interface with me? Oh, uh, I don't know. You started in an airport somewhere, you know, and facing a delay. Send me a tweet, I'll reply to you within five minutes, that's the best way to do it. Are you at home in front of the computer or through the website? Are you, you know, sitting in your computer at work and you can you not go to the web? Send me an email. Advertise, every, every single channel that you have has to be advertised, has to have a purpose and your customers need to know it. They need to know why and what's the best way to interface <coughs> with you. In all honesty, solving a customer issue over Twitter is almost as close to impossible as you can get. I mean, seriously. If you have a problem, just any problem that you had in the last few months, can you explain in 140 characters? 280? What are the next number is that my math is not that good? Uh, 420? So, I mean, seriously, there's no way that you can explain, you no know, way you can get an answer in 140 characters. For the most part, I mean, let's take, you know, 